we kunnen ook wel een liedje gaan maken of er, of er iemand missen werd. Want ik zie twee weken van hoe samen, hoe samen. En, uh, maar, dus het is eigenlijk achteraf een heel. Uh, uh, ik, ik steek er een draak mee in dit liedje. Uh. Veel te vroeg wakker in dit deur hotel en ik vroeg me aan of ik ook bel. Of het wat doet, maakt als ik ook spreek, want hoe dan ook, ik zit hier nog een week. In de kamer weer dat langzaam licht, ook in een deur hotel, komt de gardine niet dicht. De gardine niet dicht, de ramen niet open, voor de verre keer val ik met ogen schoop. Ganse nacht wil ik naar ook toe, weg uit dit nest, hotel, hou toe. De telefoon is helemaal niet zijn op een stroot. Alles heer een andere woord. Een slappe koffie, super omelet. En hier voor zo'n kamer met een dubbel pen. Nee, er is maar hier een Amerikaans aan mee. Ik denk dat ik mee van oven moeite dan de raam toe. Gewoon met corona groei. Dan breng ik mee naar ook toe. Weg het dit nest. Wel houden. Net niks te zien, zeg ik. Net niks te zien, zeggen ze op PTV, Lucky Dem, Lance Me. Dat is Amerikaans, hè? Dat de, de ze niks zien. Dat je het allemaal net, films en net neven en zo is allemaal. Vreselijk. Dat was vroeger al bij die films op televisie, eh, seksfilms uit Amerika. Dat, die net niks te zien films noemden we die altijd. En dan hebben, ze, dan hebben ze dat porno, dat noemen ze porno. Maar ze wilden nacht niks zien. Dat. En dat vind ik wel grappig. En mij vroeg, vroegen ze vroeg bij Bedo bij welke film hebben ze over nagedacht. Vind ik, ja, goed. Dan ben ik ook weer even, dat vind ik wel lollig. Ik zoiets, uh, want dat is helemaal niet gezaagd namelijk. Ik toch hier het aan hem. Niemand heeft gezaagd met welke film hebben ze over nagenijd. Het heeft al niemand aan tafel gezaagd. Dat weet ik zeker dat, ze, dat niemand gezaagd heeft. Maar omdat ik dan het woordje ontbijt heb, moet er wat op rijmen, want het moet altijd rijmen. Want als het rijmt, dan is het woord, zeggen ze altijd. Het moet er wat op rijmen, want om bijt en genijt. En met welke film hebben ze over nagenijd? En ik weet het, zeg ik uh, lezen. Ik zeg, ja, ja, inderdaad. First of all, uh, this is uh, my grandfather. This is uh, Don Patricio Jimenez. And um, this picture was given me by a friend of mine that uh, I was surprised that I couldn't believe that it was my grandfather. He looks like me, you know that. Uh, especially in the nose, you know, we're a big, big nose or whatever. This is my father, my grandfather holding uh, my dad, Don Santiago. And this is the original, and this is the original uh, Flaco Jimenez. He is the original Flaco Jimenez. Not my brother. Flaco Jimenez, my brother is Leonardo. His name is Leonardo. You know, my father was the first Flaco. Santiago Jimenez, El Flaco con la Cordeón, y sus valedores. Skinny. Actually, I'm supposed to be Flaco. I should be the Flaco Jimenez, but uh, I hate to run Flaco Jimenez because I, I, I don't like to run uh, his name. That's me and my dad. That's the only picture I have with him playing. I, will, I really was laughing with him because, I mean, I was very happy. I was, I mean, I could, I, you can see there that I really was looking at him like, you know, I'm playing with my dad. <laughs>
part of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had something uh, from Ostrich. Oh, really? Something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ostrich. Österreich. Ah. Yeah, Österreich. Really? Yeah. People, uh, when you play it there, the people yeah. uh, would like yeah, it. Be to began to yodel. <laughs> they started yodeling. Yeah. <laughs> My father used to sit down on the, on the sofa and he would practice, you know, play it back himself, practice the accordion. And uh, I was about five years old when I remember my father playing the accordion. And uh, I could feel his music, you know, and I always, in my mind, I always wanted to be like him. Yeah. And, and did your father teach you to play the accordion? No, 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 he didn't teach me. He, he would uh, get after me if I didn't play right, you know, uh, because when I started, when I wanted to learn how to play the accordion, I would get his accordions and I would break. You know, I would untune his accordion. He would get mad and he knew it was me. So uh, one, one afternoon, my father was working and I got his accordion from the closet and I started playing. You know, I didn't know how to play actually. And by the time uh, I figured out my father was behind me, and when I saw him, I kind of got scared of him because uh, I thought he was going to whip me up. And he told me, if you're going to play something, play it right, or don't play anything, you know, in a bad mood, you know. <laughs> he didn't get mad because I got his accordion. He got mad because I wasn't playing the melodies right. Right here, it's, there are stacks of records of my father. For an example, this is RCA records. They're on weak condition, some of them. And okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now that's, that's conjunto music. That's, that's live music. Uh, even the Dutch people can dance it over there too. Now this is an, uh, when I was young. Rancheras y Polcas. This is Mujer Fatal. It's a song that my father wrote in 1948. This is uh, when Flaco was very young and this his second wife. Uh, dedicated to my father when he passed away, homenaje a Don Santiago. This is another uh, uh, album. He took a picture on a farm tractor. He never worked in a farm, but... <laughs> uh, international, Blanco Jimenez. <laughs> I miss amigos for my friends. And the reason I have these albums because because uh, I'd rather hear this kind of music instead of the music he's doing now. What do you play? What kind of, what do you play? What kind of music? Tex-Mex? Tex yeah, a little, yeah, it's, it's a sort of Tex-Mex, but yeah, then uh, fa uh, faster, very fast. Well, you do whatever you want. It's uh, <laughs> just, just to make me dance. <laughs> Okay, you have this style, and uh, I'm going to tell you the truth. The way you play, you play like Los Lobos. Yeah, yeah. Rhythms it's, it's, it's um, faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't do that. I mean, I could do it, but... Uh... <laughs> Other's music is still alive? Sure. Other songs that are still being played that he wrote? Mm, they're not being played. Mm, they're not being played. Some, sometimes they play some of his records on the radio. But they're played by me. I'm, I'm having this music alive for him. Even though he passed away. This music is not going to die as long as I live. And I, I say it everywhere. Here in the U.S., anywhere I go. My father's number one. He's still number one. Not Flaco, not me. He's still number one. That's why he told me. That's why I have all his music. Because I'm not going to let him die. He knows that. He knew that. That his music never was going to die. Memories. And I respect that. <laughs>
brother that uh, still plays.